Hello everyone and welcome to another poster tutorial. So today we're going to be designing this poster here with like this really cool like wavy typography happening and it's like really nice O oh, that looks like a thermometer. So let's jump in. First thing, let's just create our document 1700, 2400 on a vertical orientation and just press create. Just going to get my tools back here really quick. Perfect. So the first thing you want to do is just get your text here text tool and write something. I'm going to write flow as per the example I showed you. And then I'm going to scale this up a little bit. Flow. Perfect. And then I'm going to choose a nice font for it. I'm going to use the monument font. I'm going to make this all caps. Click on character. Make it all caps like this. Perfect. Let's just scale this a little bit more. Next, we're going to do is going to effects and then find distort and transform, select transform. And here we're going to actually increase the number of copies to five and the distance vertically to 300. I think it works. Yeah, maybe I'm going to make another copy, maybe six even. And maybe reduce this distance here so they're a little bit together. And maybe even a little bit more. Let's just do it by eye now. Yeah, something like this looks nice. Next, what we're going to do is just select our text, go to object, uh, blend, not blend, sorry, envelope distort, and make with warp. So here we're going to have like a lot of warp options. For this exercise, we're going to use the wave warp. And here you can control the, how much distortion we want on our text, if you want it vertically, which is really cool as well, or if you want it horizontally. And then inside of the distortion, you even can like control like create like some sort of perspective, which is really cool. So we're going to just leave this at zero and the distortion here at 50. You don't need to use the same values as I'm using. You can use it as your own values as you feel more creative. Like, but if you want to copy just to learn the, the technique, I, have, I highly recommend it too. So press OK. Great. So now the next thing we want to do is just select our text again, go to object and then expand. Expand object and fill. Press OK. Cool. So now we're going to apply some really nice colors. You can see here we have this really cool gradient happening here. And we're going to do that now. Before actually, before you actually apply colors, let's just delete these O's here because we're actually going to design our own letter O. Let's just delete them. I'm just using the direct selection tool, just this one here. And then just select a few of them, delete them. Perfect. To make the our custom O, we're just going to use the rectangle tool here and just draw a really nice rectangle and then going to invert it to be a stroke. Let's increase the stroke maybe to something bigger even, like maybe 20. And let's make the stroke uh, inside. And then on the corners, we're going to use our, our selection tool here. So just press A to have the corners here and just make them rounded. Perfect. Maybe I even going to put this a little bit more closer so we actually follow a little bit less like the style of the letters let's just make it maybe the stroke even a little bit more maybe and just adapt the curvature here to make it perfect and that's it let's select our new o go to object and expand perfect next what we want to do actually is apply the colors now let's go to window swatches libraries and let's just find gradients here on gradients you have like a, a, a huge library of really cool gradients I actually use, uh, I think was a, one of the color combinations here. And you can actually just select which one you want and just play a little bit with the, which colors says more to you. Actually, I'm going to use probably something different to that tonight, uh, today. It's because it's, I'm recording this at night. And which one did I use there? Actually, I'm curious. Let's just copy this file. And let's just, I think it was from this uh, color library here. Let's just maybe investigate a little bit more. Let's try something more interesting around here. Maybe these ones are cool. We have like such a, a nice variety here. It's so hard sometimes to decide which one we're going to use. But well, if you have the time to explore more and actually just have, be a little bit more creative, just do it. I'm going to just select one just for the sake of the exercise right now. Let's just use the, the ones from the beginning here. This one will be all right. Cool, and we're going to apply the same gradient in the O as well. 
And I'm going to select the text here. Let's just delete this one for now. We don't need it at the moment. And just select the text, get your gradient tool here. And from the top to the bottom, just all the gradient. So this way the gradient applies to the entire scene, not just to each individual element. And next, let's just get our rectangle tool here, make a nice rectangle for the background, same size of the artboard. Let's just scale this to the side, change the colors to a really nice dark gray, almost black. Leave it like this. I think I use a darker background as well. Yes. Wasn't as dark. Maybe I want to just copy some colors from here actually. And I'm just going to apply this here. I really like this gray I used there. Perfect. And the next thing we want to do is just create like the inside of the thermometer kind of graphic and just going to make another rectangle. Get like a more like a reddish uh, gradient here, maybe something more like this, yeah. And then just going to change the gradient direction to be something more like a great like um, a thermometer, it's like hot to hot, like the controlling the the temperature. And this was pretty much it. Then I just sign the posters. Normally I just get some like gonna copy from here just to edit a little bit of information so I can keep tracking or which poster was this one and when I made it. And I also wrote something, state of flow. Yeah, this is like the state when you're actually designing something or doing something creative or like just coding or something, any, any activity that you are so focused on it that you are not distracted and everything flows very well. That's the state of flow, which is what inspired this poster as well. Let's just change this color to something more matching this color here. I actually like this red there. Maybe I'm going to try to use the same red, like a, some sort of red, maybe. I don't think so. Let's just leave it like this for now. Actually, before we go, let's just add a new layer and just create a new solid um, rectangle here. Let's go to effects, uh, stylize, texture, grain. Perfect. Add a nice, a really nice grain. Just to add that element of detail to our poster, use the screen blending mode. Leave, let's make it like 15%, maybe a little bit less, I think. And not 1%, a little bit more. And yeah, something like this. It looks really nice. So yeah, this was, let's just full screen this. This was the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed doing this exercise. Please, if you did, be sure to like this video, to subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing loads of design exercises every day. So we can actually keep practicing. I think the trick of being like a good designer, even for me to learn a little bit more, actually expand my skill set, is keep doing these tutorials and keep learning with you as well. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video today, please be sure to like, subscribe and share this with your friends and your family, I guess. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.